I also thank the chairman and vice chairman who kindly agreed to preside over 208th meeting of the central board of the Employees Provident Fund organization. Today we had 208th meeting of the Employees Provident Fund central board of the Employees Provident Fund organization. The Employees Provident Fund organization as you know is presently the largest social security organization in the world as far as the number of subscribers is concerned. Number of subscribers is more than, contributing members is more than 4 crores and total membership as on today is approximately 14 to 15 crores. That is our membership today. We are the largest social security organization. The employees EPFO provides three types of services. We provide provident fund services. We also give pension to the subscribers. And number three, if something unfortunately happens to the employee during the service period, he is insured. It is called employee deposit linked insurance. Therefore, we run three schemes, employees provident fund, employees pension scheme and employees deposit linked insurance scheme. Let me give you some figures, I have given you provident fund subscribers 4 crore, pensioners presently are around 51 lakhs and the EDLI benefit roughly unfortunate is think I would say 30,000 employees got the EDLI benefit last year. This is the overall picture. We have made lot, we have taken lot of e initiatives, and as the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister desired, we yesterday, the Honorable Minister launched the M Governance Initiative of EPFO. The Honorable Prime Minister has said that we should move from e governance to M Governance. E Governance, Electronic Governance, Computer Governance to the Mobile Governance. We launched the first mobile lab yesterday with Honorable Minister as the chief guest. These three services were launched yesterday. One was the mobile application. Mobile application is available for employers where they can see the, their remittances online. We will give you some details in our press note also. Number two, the, there is a facility for employees where they can get their UN activated and they can know their balance on the mobile itself. Third, pensioners, they can see their bank account on the mobile itself. These three facilities were launched by the Honorable Minister yesterday. We also launched an SMS facility and a missed call facility. Somebody can give a missed call from a registered mobile number then he will get that information immediately regarding that account. And if he gives a number, he calls some number, there we have given that calling facility, the SMS facility, if he gives an SMS on certain number, that will activate the UN, catching the number from which he is sending the SMS. That mobile number will be caught and that will be the mobile number on which he will then get start getting the service. These three services, the Honorable Minister launched yesterday. The 208th meeting, as usual, had a large agenda. A large number of decisions have been taken. The Honorable Minister, Union Minister, I would request him, Honorable Union Minister, to apprise you of the salient decisions. The Honorable Minister, as usual, we always tell in our ministry he is a pro-worker. And today also, a large number of pro-worker decisions were taken. The Honorable Minister will apprise you about the important decisions taken in the today's meeting. I would now request the Honorable Minister to address the press gathering.